How do you see gameplay and graphics um, going together, and especially moving forward? It's one of those things that you've got. Uh, getting more realistic has several effects on things. And like I also mentioned in there, the issue about trying to make realistic looking humans in there, where we're a lot closer on the rendering side than on some of the behavioral sides. But on our type of things, we're affecting gameplay. If you look at some really fun classic games, the gameplay doesn't work in a photorealistic sense. You know, the Doom guy running along at 90 miles an hour or whatever. If you put a photorealistic character on there, you know, his legs will be a little Roadrunner blur and stuff, and it just doesn't it doesn't make sense to have something that looks like something out of the, scene, the, the set, a set of aliens or something and then have some character running around 10 times faster than a human should. So the pace of the action has to change on there where it, it's going to become a closer to human realistic speed on there. Not plotting, but it's not going to be the immediate dart around at, at extreme high speeds. And that's a perfectly wonderful style of game. We've been doing that for years and everything, but this is a conscious decision to focus on really seeing what we can get out of the mood and leveraging the atmosphere and doing things that are scary movie type things. And that just does involve, to some degree, hobbling the player's movement speed to something that's realistic.